Isla Jean reporting live. Thank you for that. It is 538 and back here closer to home, there's a nonprofit over in Liberty Hill that is stepping in after a community member died and no one claimed his remains. The nonprofit says it intervened out of friendship. Mm. KXAN's Mercedes Hernandez spoke with that group. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning to y'all. I did speak with Operation Liberty Hill and they say just because someone qualifies for an indigent burial or cremation doesn't mean they were unloved or unknown. That's why it's working to give its friend KB a proper memorial after years of getting to know him. It was inside this office three years ago when executive director of Operation Liberty Hill, Susan Baker, met Kebedi Bekele, KB for short. So he was from Ethiopia and he had dreadlocks, so everyone in Liberty Hill knew who KB was. Operation Liberty Hill has a food pantry for people in need and helps with documentation. Baker says KB came in for help with a driver's license, but that quickly turned into something else. We took him to get his driver's license renewed and his eyesight had gotten so bad he could not read the eye chart. So this started a series of exams. After multiple health problems, doctors discovered KB had cancer. That's Barbara, she's one of our thrift store managers. Baker and volunteers took him to his radiation treatments. And one of our volunteers found him passed away on his front porch where he loved to be every morning watching the sunrise and watching his cat. Baker says KB had a brother in the area that died a few years ago. With no other family, it would have been up to the county to handle things. You know, we probably have a dozen individuals a year that, you know, their, their bodies are unclaimed. Williamson County Judge Bill Gravel says it's rare that anyone else steps in in cases like these. It, it was just a day or two after we were made aware of that, that they stepped up and said, hey, this may be an unusual request, but we'd really like the responsibility of honoring this individual. Last week, county commissioners gave the disposal rights of KB's body over to Baker. Now she's planning a memorial with all of the volunteers that supported him. We're going to have a little memorial service um, at the park right by his house where he used to walk his dog all the time. While KB won't walk through these doors again, Baker says his memory will linger in other ways. I wish we had more time with him. <laughs> Baker says the memorial for KB is still being planned. Other than KB, there have been eight other indigent burial requests before Williamson County Commissioner since March of 2023. Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News.